Hi, this is Jim Colt, and we're here with a Maverick CNC uh, uh, cutting table. And I want to talk a little bit about air plasma cutting and uh, the air supply system that has to be used with the, with the air plasma cutter. There's a, there's a few different ways you can do it. But the, the, the real key for the best performance with a plasma is to have what we call clean, dry, compressed air delivered to the plasma. This particular one uses about 6.5 uh, CFM, cubic feet per minute of air at somewhere between 90 and 135 PSI. Uh, that's the pressure that the air is delivered at. So that, that's real critical. And if you, uh, so the, the, probably the most common air supply that's used with plasma cutting is a portable compressor. So you need a compressor that's large enough. Uh, it's always better to have a bigger compressor, one that doesn't have to run continuously. Uh, what compressors do, especially in a humid environment, it's kind of humid here today, uh, if, as you compress the air, you're also, you're, you're also uh, creating uh, a lot of moisture. The air compresses, the moisture does not, and it collects in the receiver of the, of the compressor in a lot of cases. And then when, when that's blown off to the plasma cutting system, you're actually dragging some moisture particles out to it, and that affects the life of the consumables, the cut quality, uh, can cause misfiring and a lot of things. So the fix for that is to put some filters, water separators between the, the compressor and the plasma cutting system. Another way to think about it though is uh, here at, at Welder Supply, uh, they're, they're certainly, they, they supply gas cylinders and here's a, here's a bank of six gas cylinders and this, uh, uh, these just have clean, dry, compressed air. There's no moisture in this air, uh, the way they produce the air. So. Um, this bank, if you cut continuously at 85 amps with a PowerMax 85 plasma cutting system, you get about, I don't know, somewhere around six hours of, uh, of continuous cutting time. That's arc on time, and you couldn't, do, you couldn't do that in an eight hour shift. That's probably two or three days of pretty busy cutting. So uh, th these do last a long time. You don't have to worry about, uh, uh, you know, about loss of, uh, or loss of cut quality or consumable life because of moisture, because there isn't any. Um, I, but compressors are a good, good way to handle it as well. So you want to make sure that the incoming pressure, as I've mentioned many times over the years in on, online forums, uh, is at the right pressure to the plasma cutting system and that we don't have air starvation. Uh, this is a good solution to, to handle that.